<coughs> Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shad Bahashem. Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, great men at home, who rule and teach well. Sincere Shalom to the house of David. 144,000, hopefully, like the one third who's tuning into the truth and pushing the truth with all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth where we have been scattered. Now, this is just going to be a quick little um, read through of Psalms, the 56th chapter, and I'm going to just bounce around. So, the title right there is Supplication for Deliverance and Grateful Trust in the Most High. All right. For the world entity calls God, his true name is Yahweh. Which means he exists. Uh, this is Psalms 56 and 1. To the chief musician upon Jonah the, Jonah the Lemem Wretch Corum. I'm never gonna, I won't say never, but it's very hard to pronounce a word like that, right? All right. Mitchum of David, when the Philistines took him in Gath, be merciful unto me, O Yahweh, for man would swallow me up, he fighting daily. Oppresseth me, and how that applies today is this, these these scriptures are triple fold, double fold, innumerable. All right. So in today's terms, we're under these devils. We're under we're under the the foot of Esau, Edom, and Babylon the Great, man. And we're ruled by these Edomites and these other nations are 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 above us. You have all these heathens uh, putting businesses in Jake neighborhoods and buying Jake. I wouldn't say buying Jake property. Jake really don't got no property. Well, you could say the land of Israel. All right, you got um, you got um, the Palestinians in there, and uh, the small hats, the Edomites up in our land, uh, selling off our land. All right, you can go there with it. But here in Babylon the Great, specifically where I was pointing at, um, these heathens, man, they they're they're ruling over us. All right, really all over the earth, but our the main oppression. Is here in Babylon the Great. Um, let's get some scriptures on that real quick. <clears throat> this is Second Ezra's um, sixth chapter and verse. Verse 54, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, which is Yahweh Shai, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, and that's talking about the twelve tribes of Israel being the chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the world was made for the children of Israel, all right, not the bees, <laughs> not, not the elephants, not these heathens. All right, the whole world was made for the children of Israel. This is verse 56. As for the other people who also come of Adam, so all the other nations that are on the planet Earth that don't go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So if you have a bucket and it's full, of, you got a five gallon bucket of water. And a little, little, little smidget, not even a droplet the size of a, a dollar coin falls out, you're not going to care, right? And that's what, that's what these other nations, that's what Esau, Edom, that's what the Hamites, the Moabites are liking them to, to the Heavenly Father, all right, compared to the children of Israel. And now, O Yahweh, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So that's how that's how the most high gets down, man. That's punishment. All right. Because it's, it's not like that was a unrighteous thing to happen. All right. It was written that this this would happen. Uh, the children of Israel will fall under these nations. Um, if they would, they went off from the law, statutes, commandments. Let's get that. This Deuteronomy 28 chapter. And 33, the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed away. All right. 
So that's one of those one of those curses, man. That um the heavenly Father has put us under, um, for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. So, like I said, this is not an unrighteous thing for these these people that are nothing to rule over us, because at the end of the day, um, the heavenly Father is still going to choose the children of Israel, regardless. Um. This is Psalms 56 and 2. <clears throat> Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In the most high, I will praise his word. In the most high, I will put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Because at the end of the day, okay, um, the Heavenly Father is not going to uh, destroy us, man. What I mean by destroy is I mean really wipe us off the map. The, the children of Israel are still going to come out on top. And um, the ones that have faith in the Heavenly Father will uh, persevere through it all. Because that's that those will be the elect, right? People that have faith until the very end are, are the elect. Because that's that's the only way. This is um Malachi 1 and 14. And it reads, But cursed be, be the deceiver. Which has in his flock a male and vow with us, and sacrifices unto Yahweh a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Now I made that point about his name being dreadful among the heathen is because King David make makes reference of um calling upon the name of Yahweh, man. Let's get that. We're gonna keep reading and get to that point. This is uh this is fifty Psalms fifty six and five. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger, cast down the people, O Yahweh. And uh, that's another thing too, man. They, uh, specifically with Esau. Esau will, um, Esau will, um, Will set up traps like a predator lying wait to uh come after Jake. Let's get that real quick. Because these Edomites, man, they have that perpetual hatred for the children of Israel. This is Proverbs 12 and 6. The words of the wicked. Are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. All right, and this just and this I think Proverbs was written by um King Solomon. All right, and it, which is um which is the son of uh, King David. This is uh, verse eight. Thou tellest my wanderings; put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know for Yahweh is with me, right? Because that name is dreadful among the, among the heathen, man. And the Most High will I praise his word, and Yahweh will I praise his word, and that word is Yahweh Shah. This is a verse 11 right here. In the Most High have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. The, thy vows are upon me, O Yahweh. I will render praises unto thee, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before the Most High in the light of the living? And that deliverance from death is a sin, man. Because sin, sin is death, okay? Now, uh, how this, how this deliverance is going to come... It starts with the name, all right? It starts with the name. This is um, Ezekiel 39 and verse, and verse 7. So I will make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel. I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. So, um, and that's another cut. Because if the name of the Heavenly Father is dreadful among the heathen, all right? Why, why would these, these nations, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe to the scriptures. It makes no sense, man. All right.
you know, let's get to that point about uh, sin being being death. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and um, 56. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Why is the strength of sin is the law? What does that mean? That means to overpower sin, to not let sin creep in, right? To have strength over over sin is the law. Why? Because the law is righteousness, man, right? Now, of course, we can't keep the law, statutes, commandments um, to 100%. Which is why Yahweh Shai came on the scene, and we're saved through uh, grace and faith, man, through, through the blood of Yahweh Shai, and um, all all the <coughs> all all of Israel, man, not um, the elect. The elect will just be that that first fruits, of the kingdom, and the law is not done away with, and the law will be a part of a new covenant. You see, the first covenant was the law on paper, right, or stone, right. And then the second covenant is the law pretty much written into what you want to call DNA, right, of, of, the, of the Israelites. That's, um, and then with that, the law being written in our inward parts, right, we won't, um, we won't, um, be able to go off anymore. So the, the, this, uh, death won't know us anymore. This is, um. Ezekiel 36 and 23, and I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, <coughs> which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, said the Yahweh the Most High, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries. So all the Israelites, not all the Israelites, have been scattered throughout all nations, right? Now, of course, all of Israel is not one nation in the land in the land of Israel, so to speak, right? But we, we, we've been scattered throughout all the nations. And we're not, well, as a nation, we're not in the land of Israel, but we have uh, Israelites that are a part of the 12 tribes that are in the land of Israel now. Either speckled birds that are, uh, you know, looking like Amalek, and, and, and there's Palestinians and, and Israelites that would look like Israelites that, just moved to the land of Israel for whatever reason. And I think they are deporting. Uh, <laughs> they're deporting Jakes out of Israel, man. That are under the the Hebrew Israelite banner. They're they're they're. Uh, I think they're starting to do like a mass deportation of them. I may I may be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's that's going on. But um, where we have been scattered, the Israelites have been scattered that are part of the elect, right? Mainly here in Babylon the Great. And then throughout the four corners of the earth will be pulled up out of those places. And as we're pulled up out of those places, man, we're going to um, get that second covenant. All right. And I will bring you into your own land. So all the So as a nation, as a nation, the Israelites um, will go back to the land of Israel, man, not um, some group. That's like, all right, yeah, we know we're Israelites. Let's go back to the land of Israel. No, man, it's not going to work like that. It's going to work by the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shah and the angels uh, gathering the Israelites via the chariots, uh, giving giving them that those new bodies, all right, because we're not going to, the bodies we're in now are not going to be in no chariot moving around, man. All right, we're, our spirits are going to be taken up out of these bodies and we're going to be given new bodies, okay? Um. And I'll get that point before I finish Ezekiel. So let's get that. I think it's in first <clears throat> I know it's first Corinthians. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> Give me a moment, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is Matthew 16 and um, verse uh, verse 28. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Why? Because when Yahweh Shah returns, when you get those new bodies, man, you're going to pretty much die. Like your spirit, uh, the, the elect that live through this, this, this tribulation, their spirits um, will be um, taken up out of their bodies, all right? Which is pretty much death, right? But it's a, uh, it's, it's a, a different form of dying, so to speak, right? But it's still dying, right? Dying is just your spirit leaving your, your body. And, um, but you, you know, in the twinkle of an eye, you're just going to get a new body. So it's like snap of the finger, uh, you know, blink in your eye. You're going to get a, um, a new body. Let's see if I can get that. Twinkle, maybe. Okay, I see now. It's twinkling. All right. Actually, I think I'm in First Corinthians fifteen. Nope, I wasn't. I was previously. It's First Corinthians fifteen and fifty two. And it reads, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So in the blink of an eye, man. Right? In a, in a, not even a second. You're 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 gonna die. And get a new body immediately, right? Perfect bodies, mortality, you know, go to fly, have uh, just complete power, be able to go face to face with the Heavenly Father, all right? Be able to travel through the second heaven, the third heaven, all right? Now, let's end this off in uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, uh, I think we'll be that verse, verse 25. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you. And ye shall be clean from all your filthiness. And this is going to that second covenant. From all your idols, I will cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you. And cause you to walk in my statutes. The second covenant. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Alright? So that, that spiritual power... Which is pretty much being immortal, right? Being righteous, um, will be put into all the all the Israelites, man, forever. We're never gonna go off. It's just gonna be all positivity, right? No negatives, no downs, nobody bucking up against us. Just just pure righteousness and, and joy forever, forever. And 
that's what the Heavenly Father got in store for the elect. And that's it for this lesson. Lord's will is edifying and shalom.